China is the world's eighth largest wine producer and fifth largest market in the world. Yet China's wine production accounts for only 1% of China's total alcohol production. Although this proportion is small, many believe this meant the room for development was huge. As people's income levels rise, the domestic wine industry was expected to grow rapidly. But in actuality, the opposite occurred. From January to June, the National Bureau of Statistics shows China's wine production dropped almost 4%. There are mainly three reasons to account for this. Firstly, is that the economy slowed down. Many Chinese people are facing increasing costs of living. As a result, purchasing expensive wine is not really an option for most. Secondly, the government anti-corruption campaign. Previously, government officials purchased large quantities of imported luxury wine. But now many are worried and have ended this habit. Along with a decrease in imported wine sales comes a decrease in domestic wine sales especially since often domestic wines are considered of lesser value or less of a status symbol. Lastly, imported wine has a large impact. A few years ago, large amounts of wine were imported. So now many foreign wine distributors have a large inventory. In turn, some imported wine is sold at a low price. As high-end wine sales continue to decline, imported wines also have tapped into the low-end market. Most of the operators and distributors have already changed strategies. They now sell imported wine priced between $16 and $32. Many are even cheaper than $16. The wine market in China is still young but maturing, so price no longer rules consumer choice. When choosing wine, people now consider their own tastes. But they put more emphasis on the brand. Bearing this in mind, many think China should place more emphasis on how their wines are unique. However, many also complain grapes in China are low-end and do not have a sweet enough taste to produce high-quality wines. So now Chinese vineyards must use other tactics. For instance, the wine producing area in Yantai has built chateaus to attract attention. They have also increased breeding of good varieties of grapes. They have invested more in research and development to create a more characteristic taste. In Peng Lai, the government requires companies that have their own vineyards to also build a chateau. They hope this will force companies to expand outside of just filling wine. Wine production in Jilin province during the first half of this year fell 18%. So now they plan on expanding into ice wine markets. But don't go away, because up next in Money Matters, we'll continue discussing the wine industry in China. Stay tuned.